Beware of gang stalkers. They are monitoring y'all every move. This video is not going to be long, so make sure you stay tuned and don't touch that dial. Now let's get started, ladies and gentlemen. And by the way, y'all know the catchphrase. I ain't got to say it, but do what you got to do. And with that being said, y'all, let's get it. Beware of these gang stalkers, y'all. I'm telling you all right now. I ain't saying worry about them. Be fearful of them. That's not what I'm saying. No, because we don't fear nobody over here. But what I'm saying is, make sure you keep your moves on the hush mode. Make sure you be on your P's and Q's. And when you talking around certain people, be careful what comes out of your mouth because you don't know who's listening. Anybody can go back and say you said this and you said that they can go back and twist your words. Not only beware of gang stalkers, but be aware of nosy folks. Because nosy folks these days, they will go back and try to twist your words around. And then be sent right there monitoring your every move, especially on social media. Social media. Some folks just don't know. Even the cops could be watching you on social media. You don't know who watching you on social media. This is why you need to be very, very careful of what you post, including your location. Never, never, never post your location. Never. Because you don't know who watching you. You don't know what type of enemy or the mindset that this enemy have of yours. Um, excuse me, of theirs. They will come up there and try to start some with you. God forbid, or worse. That's why you need to be very, very careful of what you post on social media. Be careful what you're showing. Don't show your money. Don't do none of that. Act broke. Remember, rich people don't worry their money. So why you want to sit up here and try to flex and show all this money on social media and all that? And you know, doggone well. It's like you showing a big juicy grilled steak in front of hungry wolves or hungry lions. You asking to be a target. But if you smart, street smart especially, you will know the moves. I mean, excuse me, you will know the move wisdom with wisdom and move wisely out here. Be on your P's and Q's at all times. Because you'll know who out there watching you. You'll know who's out here gang stalking you. And you be on the low, people want to know about you because you're not there in the open like they are. You're not out here trying to prove a point to nobody because you ain't got to prove a point to no doggone body. Y'all don't even ask for attention, but guess what? You still get attention because remember, it's inside of you, not on you. Folks like them. They got to ask for attention. They got to crave it. It's like a drug. And a teacher seeking is one hell of a drug. It's worse than cocaine. Ask Rick James. F your couch. <laughs> but no, seriously. A teacher seeking is one hell of a drug. And people out here, they really need it. That doggone bad. People will get on social media begging for likes. They would sell their soul for likes. Like, dude, what you doing? Miss Lady, what you doing? Dude, come on. Dude, come on. But y'all, y'all ain't got to bear for no attention. You ain't got to bear for no likes or nothing. Whatever it is you do on social media, you keep it on the low. Because outside of social media, that's your real life. But people want to get on social media and put on this fairy tale type of thing. They get on social media pretending they this big and bad person. But behind that camera, they ain't all what they say they are. They pretenders. They get on there pretending to be the big dog. But behind that camera, they end up a little chihuahua. But when you get on camera, you will make the same person as you are off the camera. And this would get this would get people to be obsessed with you. This would cause to have gang stalkers because you're moving in silence. 
You know, tell nobody your business. And when you stand out, they make people wonder about you. Now they're curious. Now they want to know everything about you. Hell, these folks, these folks even want to know your middle name. They want to know your social security number. I, I'm just saying that because people want to know everything about you. They want to know your middle name. What's your favorite color? What's your movies? Hell, they want to be in a relationship with you, don't you? But I'm kidding about the social security thing. I'm kidding about that. But the other things, all these questions that they are asking, you're that they want to date you. What's your favorite movie? What do you like to eat? What do you like to eat out there? What's your biggest fears? They want to know everything. Not only they are monitoring you, they asking questions. But see, if you're not wise enough, and you mess around, tell these folks your fears, they're going to turn around and use it against you. Or tell other folks, and they're going to try to embarrass you. So I'm telling you all right now, if you stay out the way, and people still all up in your 411, all up on your jock, and they come here asking these questions, do not tell them the full information. Make up lies, make up stories. When number won't know, won't hurt. Make up a fairy tale. Like the parents did with the Santa Claus, the Tooth Fairy, the Boogeyman, and all that. Make up stories. Make it seem believable, but the whole time, you just making it seem like it's the truth, but the whole time you're telling lies. So when these stupid individuals get together and have a conversation about you, and then one say this about you, then the other person say this, then before you know it, they get into an argument. <laughs> smart is, smart isn't it? That's real smart. No, no, he said this. No, she said that. Now they arguing. You just sit back laughing like this. <laughs> you dumb idiots. <laughs> you just sit there laughing with your fingers like this. You idiots. I made a fool out of all of you. That's what y'all got to do. Stop telling folks your business. They watching you. At the same time, they asking these nosy questions. It ain't none of their business. It ain't none of their beeswax. So when they get together and have these conversations about you, one gonna say this, the other gonna say this. And before you know it, they're they arguing. Looking like a bunch of clowns. That's what they get for being curious. Remember, curiosity killed the cat. And these folks, they damn sure killed the cat. Meow. As a matter of fact, the cat wanted to whoop that behind for being so doggone nosy. Curiosity will kill the cat, ladies and gentlemen. These gang stalkers, they lurking, they spy, and they nosy. If I had a dollar, or if you had a dollar every time somebody asked you a personal question about yourself that they got no business that got no business asking you. Or put it like this every time you had a dollar, somebody asked you a question or a nosy question, don't you know how rich you'll be? You'll be a million dollar baby. But I'm pretty sure every day somebody asks y'all personal questions about yourself. You be sitting back wondering, why does person want to know that? I ain't asking them no questions. So why they want to know? Because you know why? They're watching you. They are literally monitoring you. They remind me of Walker Ware and Michael Jackson. I always feel like somebody's watching me and I had no privacy. That's how y'all feel, don't you? You feel like somebody's watching you. When you stand out the way, guess what? They want to ask questions. When you need people's presence, they watching. You ain't got to have no fancy shirt. You ain't got to be wearing the, how the kids say today, you ain't got to be wearing the drip. And if you're wearing the drip, guess what? When you won't, you could be living drip behind. Drip, drip, drip. Follow the drip, follow the drip, follow the drip. That's what caused people to have these obsessive spirits. But when you stand out the way and you ain't got to wear the drip, as the kids would say, or wear the fancy clothes, the fancy jewelry, none of that, they still going to watch you because you know why? It's something about your energy, your attitude, your spirit, 
when you open up your mouth, these obsessed individuals, they fall in love with you. Back up. Yeah. Give me 50 feet. But y'all energy is so big, it's bigger than the elephant. It's larger than a giraffe's neck. It got more veins than the crab of hook. Hook smash! It is your energy is so electrifying, as the rock would say. Y'all can go into the room and just lay the smack down spiritually. And that made people want to ask these questions. So I'm telling you all right now, be on your P's and Q's at all times. And somebody asks you a question about yourself, and they know doggone well they got no business asking you that, that type of question. Make up a lie. Make up a story. Remember, won't know, it won't hurt them. So let's make up anything. Yeah, 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 such and such, such. And when they say, oh, okay, okay. And when they hit that, oh, okay, okay. They let you know right there. They were being nosy. That lets you know right there, this person is watching you. They being nosy. So make sure you move in silence at all times. Excuse me, keep your mouth shut. When God is blessing you, do not tell your blessings to nobody. Let God show out your blessings. You just be quiet. Excuse me, you just be quiet. Be on the hush. Don't you say a word. Be quiet. We we'll accomplish something. Be quiet. Don't go out here broadcasting to the president and everybody, your mama, granddaddy, and all of them. Make these folks assume. Make them make an a-hole out of themselves. Because when you don't tell them, they're going to make up stuff. When they start making up stuff and they come back and bite them, they're going to embarrass them. Now look at them, they made an a-hole out of themselves. So let people assume and think that they know you. Let people sit there and think they know for you, they know every information about you. From A to Z from one to a hundred. But they are so incorrect. They want to get everybody on their team to think that they know you. But all of them finna be looking like an idiot. Because what, what I tell you, tell lies, make up stuff like it seems like it's the truth. Then when they get together in their little red gospel, red table, when they get together, start having these conversations about you. And then when they say, such and such said this, such and such said that, then before you know it, they'll be ready to bump heads and fight. And if you're lucky, God will sit you right there and watch you and watch these fools. Or you be watching these fools go at it, butt to butt. You just sit right there looking like, <laughs> look at these idiots. They don't fail for the trap. You see, they had a trap set for you. But you were so doggone book smart and street smart. That's why I tell you once again, y'all move in silence. You be on your P's and Q's. And make sure if you on social media, be careful of what you post. But at the same time, y'all not so crazy about social media, but some folks are. But if you are on social media, be careful. Not saying be worried or be scared. No, we ain't scared over here. We ain't worried about nothing. Nothing. Just be wise and move with wisdom and knowledge and understanding. And make sure your lips Zip is on zip. Don't you say nothing to nobody or anything about your blessings or accomplishments. Don't say a word. Let them sit back in the Zoom. You just be quiet and let God do the talking. And with that being said, y'all, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Remember, these gang stalkers, they are something else. When they get together with their little group of click of friends, Watch, they're going to be bumping heads. Watch what I tell you. They're going to be bumping heads. Get ready to fight. Because such and such thought they had the right information about you. They would get so doggone serious, they'd be ready to start fights with each other. Crazy, ain't it? Looney Tune. And when you talk about Bugs Bunny, Daffy Duck, you know, these people are loony in the head. But yeah, 
Make sure you move with wisdom, knowledge, and understanding out here. Move in silence and let God do the talking. Let God show your blessings off. Meanwhile, you just stay out the way and continue to work in silence and move in silence. Like, comment, subscribe, share the video. Shout out to everybody that's been supporting me. And with that being said, we out this thing. Peace.